I think there is very little doubt that our criminal justice system is broken and in need of major reforms. I would hope that every American appreciates that it is a national tragedy that the United States of America today has more people in jail, over two million people, than any other country on earth, including China, a communist authoritarian country with a population four times what we are. It is also important to note that a disproportionate number, significantly disproportionate, of those who are in jail are black and Hispanic. We have got to do everything that we can as a nation to end that reality of locking up so many people, and we have got to do it as rapidly as possible. The number of people who have been incarcerated in our country has quadrupled from about 500,000 in 1980 to over 2 million today. That is unacceptable. It makes no sense to me that the United States of America has more jails and prisons than colleges and universities. As a nation, our goal must be to do everything we can to create the conditions that prevent mass incarceration. Latest study that I have seen shows that 69% of African American males who drop out of high school end up in jail. What a tragedy. And at a time when we are spending $80 billion a year on our correctional system, it makes a lot more sense to me to be investing in jobs and education rather than jails and incarceration. It makes more sense to me to be investing in our children, making sure they stay in school, making sure they get the mentoring that they need, rather than simply locking them up. In my view, we need bold changes in our criminal justice system. As a first step, we need to start treating prisoners like human beings. Private companies, private corporations should not be profit, profiteering from their incarceration. Our emphasis must be on rehabilitation, not incarceration, and longer prison sentences. In that regard, the basic decisions regarding criminal justice and public safety must be the responsibility of the citizens of our country and not the investors in private corporations. In my view, corporations should not be allowed to make a profit by building more jails and keeping more Americans behind bars. We have got to end the private profit system in jails that are so dangerous to our country. It is unacceptable that companies like Corrections Corporation of America and the GEO Group are spending tens of millions of dollars lobbying members of Congress and state legislatures all over this country to keep more Americans behind bars for longer and longer sentences. That has got to end. The profit motivation of private companies running prisons works at cross purposes with the goals of criminal justice. Further, study after study has shown that private prisons are not less expensive, they are not safer, and they do not provide better outcomes for either the prisoners or the state. Criminal justice and public safety are, without a doubt, the responsibility of the citizens of our country, not private corporations. They should be carried out by those who answer to voters, not those who answer to investors. The bill we are introducing today, the Justice Is Not For Sale Act, eliminates federal, state, and local contracts for privately run prisons within two years. But while we must end the private for profit prison racket, we must also address the harder question of responsibility reducing the prison pop of responsibly reducing the prison population. And that is why this bill will also reinstate the federal parole system. And by doing this, we will provide a real incentive for prisoners to engage in good behavior and get out of prison sooner. So bottom line here is we need major reforms in our criminal justice system, making sure that corporations are not profiteering from the incarceration of fellow Americans is an important step forward.